Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here on the day we've all been waiting for. The first taste of Subnautica Below Zero Early Access. Let's dive right in. Here we go. This is so exciting. I did it! Oh god, I hope she doesn't do that every time. Alright! We're in! This is awesome! Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank you. I know how to move around. Look at our lovely little peepers. Nice. Alright, now, we've only got about an hour, two hours worth of story content here, so I'm going to take my time and try to take it all in. Robin Goodall, Altera Application Interview. Here's some text for us to read. We don't have to read it right now. You can read that on your own time. And I'm going to be doing that again. Hitting escape to get out of the PDA and not being able to. Got a couple of extra... Environmental suits there, a titan whole fish on the wall. Some penguins with Robin Goodall. Oh, she's she's a little conceited. She's got a picture of herself on her own wall. Okay, whatever, Robin. Some bulbo trees growing here. We don't have any food, water, or health gauges yet. That comes in a bit, I believe. Let's check out the research base. Oh, good, there's a coffee maker. Thank goodness. Wait a minute, let me see if I can get some coffee here. Oh, no, please. No, come on. Yeah. <sighs> I have no access to the coffee maker. Well, that puts a damper on things. Remember, in information leading to the activation of alien technologies is rewarded with automatic rights buyout and a 10,000 credit bonus. Research of cultural or historical value is not included in the bonus scheme. Buyout still applies. Sure. What's in here? Storage. Ooh, nice little arboretum. Uh-oh. Some weather happening outside. We'll get outside and check it out in a minute. Oh, this is nice. Nice little relaxing place to chill. Looks like they're doing some, some research on these plants here. That's going to take us outside. Let's not go outside yet. We can't get into these lockers, okay? Oh, I love the glass ceiling. Sweet. Sweet. What else we got going on? Water filtration. Not producing any water right now. Thank you. At least I'm not thirsty. Can't get any snacks either. They're trying to starve us to death. The Vesper. <laughs> I'm going to guess that this is just a placeholder poster. Your eyes in the sky over alien worlds. Vesper TM, property of Altera Corporation. Altera not liable for Vesper debts. Altera owns all Vesper surveillance data. No ownership is implied or granted by the phase. Your eyes in the sky. It's got a little note there. Cargo rockets docking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some nice props. Some lab equipment, a modification station that we can't use. Oh, some prawn suits out there. Ecosystem. Again, probably a placeholder, I'm going to guess. Emperor produces enzyme, peeper delivers enzyme. So this is what they learned from us. The peeper puts the en enzyme into the ecosystem. The emperor relies on the ecosystem for the food chain. Yes, you're welcome, by the way. Outside for the first time. Yeah. 
It's a little chilly out here. Let's look around. I got pretty good frames and stuff here. Not terrible. Oh, they're doing a little grill out here. Probably before the snow started. Station Zero, this is Vesper. Hi, Hello. Vesper. Yeah, Hi, I'm here. Sam. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we've shared a womb. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks. We've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. Find Jeffries. Chat later. Yes, Mom. These are like Prawn Plus. It's like Prawn Mark II. These are bigger than our Prawn, aren't they? Or is it just because they're up on the pedestal there? I think these are bigger. Yeah, these are bigger. So that's the research site up there. We're going to have to go up there to look for Jeffries. But let's look around a bit more first. Kyo. Nothing much up here. So this was the Arboretum entrance. Not sure what that is. I guess that's just an antenna. That that big thing. What's that sound? There was a set there's the Vesper up there. Oh, the weather effects look nice, guys. This is nice. Pretty plant. Nice. Hello, snowman. What's your name? Destroy the snowman. Uh, all right, we'll just... Is that thunder? That's thunder. We'll destroy the snowman. I don't want to. Yeah, we can't pick anything up off off it, so... No, I wish we hadn't destroyed it. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to make that snowman. Alright, let's get going. Let us actually embark. Head off to the research station. These, again, are the thermal lilies. These are attracted to body heat. Hello, thermal lily. They're not going to do me any harm. They're just going to track me because I'm warm. They look nice. Oh, this is great. After watching the, uh, the dev stream and wishing that they had looked at some stuff a little bit longer, now we get to actually look and enjoy. Oh, you're beautiful thermal lilies. I love you. Love you. want to take you home. All right, we are underneath the research site one. Hi, Thermal Lily. I mean, obviously the game is unoptimized at this point, but I'm getting okay frames here. This seems fine. Certainly not hindering my enjoyment at all. Big green crystals. Nice. Got a little research station set up here. Oh, coffee maker that I can access. Ah, oh, I can't use the coffee maker. Come on, guys! I concede. How do you know my name? I come in peace. Sam, the building just powered up. It spoke to me. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffries. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. I think it's already here. Yeah, I think it's here. That cavern isn't stable. I want you to get back to... Sam? Damn it! Damn it, Sam! 
So the building spoke to her. No, that's not normal. What does the PDA say? Alien Research Site Zero. During the occupation of La La La, Research Site Zero. We can read all this stuff at some point, but not today. Not right this minute. Now, I happen to know the code to this door. There's nothing in there. But we can punch the code in anyway, just to try it out. The code is, spoiler alert, 4242. Um, I thought the code was 4242. It's still locked. Well, I guess that wasn't the code, my bad. Alright, let's see what else we got here. I know we're supposed to go back out the way we came and watch the lightning strike, but let's just see what's back in here. I don't think there will be anything, but let's see what they're going to put back in here eventually. Put something back in here. Yeah, I imagine there'll be more to see and do in here eventually. Run faster, Robin. Robin's not a very fast runner. Um, I don't think we're going back the way we came, guys. Nope. Thermal Lily, do you know where we should go now? Thermal Lily's not, not talking to me. This way. Oh, that looks great. Oh, so pretty. New plants. Nice. Cool, you can kind of see through the ice. Alright, let's ease ourselves down here. Bicycles look nice. Alright, what else we got going on? Alright. Whoa! Whoa! Some kind of freaking avalanche or something. Just that was that was the research base over there. Boy. Okay, I don't think we can get back to the research base, kids. Did you see that avalanche? That was awesome. Oh, I want to see that again. I think we're getting wet, folks. Oh, lightning looks great. And a splash. Hey, we're back underwater. It's Your environment is no longer safe, and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised, high wind speeds will cause lethal exposure in four minutes. All right, now we've got all our gauges back. And employees working on the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions for their safety. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch. A toasty hot beverage always feels good when working in sub-zero conditions. Always dress appropriately for the mission. Investing in an Altera cold suit is certain to pay dividends where your survival is concerned. Remember, when in doubt, don't go out. Here's a survival checklist. Uh, we can go through that on our own at some point. Some work documents that we should probably read. I'll read all that stuff on my own time. For now, let's swim. Oh, 
it's just like the good old days back in Subnautica. Oxygen plant. It's going to restore 3002. Wonderful. Nice. Swim, Robin, swim. And we're back out in open water. Now we get to really... Oh. Ooh, can I get up there? Yeah. It still thinks I'm swimming. That's okay. That'll be fixed. Oh, there are the penguins. Let's go check out the penguins. Okay. You're going to have to decide whether you're in water or not. In. I copy. I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Fine. I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Thank you, Thank Sam. You, Sam. Call me when you get there. Thank you, Sam. All right, I'll look up. I'll look up. There, There's the drop pod. But I'm more interested in these Cool guys. <laughs> still got still got a little work to do on these peeps. Their tails are supporting them down through the ice. All right, let's go check out our drop pod. We can always come back and spend some more time with the penguins in a sec after our drop pod's down. Stop jumping around. Stop it. comes our drop pod. Little emergency shelter for us. And the legs extend. And then the solar panels on the side. Boink. Great. Alright, let's go inside and check it out. Blueprint acquired. We've acquired. Sam, I'm at the habitat. Any word on Jeffries? Nothing yet. And the facility? It said my name. I need to know why. I know. Make something to eat. Get equipped. I'll have answers by then. Will do. All right. We know what we need here. Um. So let's get out there and get to it. Let's go start some gathering and checking out of cool things. We'll need one of you. Come here. New creature discovered. Yep. Oh, let's not go down into the twisty bridges yet. Oh, those are, these are Panacarids. Sun's coming up. These are the seal-like creatures. And I'm not sure yet what they're going to feed on. But they're not hostile to us. The animations look pretty good. Okay. Sun's coming up. And it looks like the storm has stopped. That's good. Should we go back over and spend some more time? Why don't we head in that direction as we gather and spend some more time with the penguins? That looks a little deeper than I want to go right now. That was copper. Got some titanium and some copper. There they are. Hi, guys. 
I want to see one of you guys dive into the water and jump back out. Whoa, their mouths open the wrong way. Uh, developers, I think I think you got their mouths opening the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> look at look at the babies bouncing around. Hey, babies! Boing boing. He fell over. <laughs> Get up! Okay, they're pretty cute. Ooh, somebody just dove in and I missed it. Shoot. Oh, you can watch them swim around, though. Hi. Hello, friend. These guys look terrific. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Baby, don't jump in. It's dangerous down here. Oh, he jumped in. He'll be fine. The little guy's swim animations are working. They're adorbs. Love them. All right, let's get some oxygen and really go on some hardcore gathering now. We need to get some food. We're hungry already. Limestone. Titanium. Papyrus. Grav trap. We've got no scanner. Quartz. Oh, that's an eye eye. We can eat those. Come here, eye eye. New creature discovered. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. More Oxygen. quartz down there. Yeah, we gotta make an oxygen tank pretty soon. So we're gonna need some creep vine seed clusters and some titanium. Not seeing any. Well, I'm not really looking for clusters yet, but I haven't. I haven't seen any. Lots of grav trap pieces lying around. Those are Arctic peepers. Beautiful Arctic peeper. Oxygen. Real nice. Oh, these guys. Are great. Their animations are beautiful. The way their little tentacle, tentacle fin things wave around. Ladderfish. No scrap metal because there's no blowed up aurora dropping scrap metal all over the place. So we're going to have to get all our titanium from the outcrops for now. Oxygen. Should be plenty. I think I just need some creep vine seed clusters. Copper. Quartz. What are these? Little mushroomy things. Hmm. Beautiful. Look at that. Just taking it all in. Hoop New fish. Discovered. Oxygen. Yeah, I hear you. I'm not that deep. I hope that uh, we actually get the opportunity to turn those alerts off in Below Zero. That was supposed to be part of Hardcore mode in the original game. and It was for a while, and then they took it out for some reason. I have no idea why. That was really the main draw for me playing hardcore in, during early access, was that I didn't have to listen to those alerts the whole time. Oh, 
All right, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little off track here. I'm, I'm just, I'm taking it all in, but I, I really should be looking for some creep vine seed clusters. So let's do that. All right, uh, there's the penguins. My pod's there. I think I'm going this way. We gotta get back to the pod and eat something. We're getting pretty hungry. Oh, but here are some mature creep vines. Might have some seed clusters on them. We're also on the lookout for those ribbon plants that we're gonna need to make batteries. Oh, I'll bet there are ribbon plants down in there. Let's go get some oxygen and come back straight down. Got plenty of quartz. Oxygen. No seed clusters yet. <gasps> Titan hole fish! Titan hole fish! We'll go check it out. Let's get some O2. Now, Titan hole fish are protected by these symbiote fish. These, the red fish with the blue heads, they stick with the Titans. And when you go up and try to replenish your oxygen off them, off the Titans, there's a chance the symbiote fish are going to attack. So I wonder if we can catch one. He, at oh, he attacked me, but I caught one. I'll try it again. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, they're very fast and maneuverable. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I know we're gonna we're gonna head back and get some food real quick. I just let me check out the symbiotes again. Oh. Ow! Right, I'm leaving. Swim right through the middle of them. Boink. Hello, Titan. I mean your Titan no harm, symbiotes. Chill out. I don't know if you can eat the symbiotes or not. We'll have to find out. I gotta be careful here. There's no open water above us. There's some. Ah, sea glide fragment. Shoot, we need to make a scanner. Alright, let's go back and get some food. Uh, we didn't get any uh, creep vine seed clusters, but we can come back. Oh, there's ribbon plants down in there, I think. Yep. Alright, good. Now we can make a battery and make a scanner. This looks a little bit dangerous. Nope. I like the panacarids. Just chilling. Oxygen. All right, let's go feed our faces. Food, cooked food, uh, cooked I I. Cooked hoop fish. Cooked peeper. It'll probably be enough. Make some water out of our bladder fish. And shove these in our faces. Mm. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, that that'll do. Alright, that'll do. Uh, I think we could probably make battery now just to clear up our inventory a bit. Let's make sure. Electronics, battery, copper ore, and two times ribbon plant. We only have enough to make the one. Uh, we can make a scanner now. Alright, let's go ahead and make a scanner. And that is in the right place. Good. Great. So now we can scan sea glide fragments, grav trap fragments, whatever we need. But we are back on the hunt for more um or for for our very first creep vine seed clusters, which we haven't found any of them yet. This was where we started our look. We went that way last time. Let's go the other way this time. 
You know what? Just so this just doesn't keep flashing at the scan account, I'm gonna scan Oxygen. that. Mm, we're pretty deep here. We're good. We're good. It's all good. We're fine. Creep vines, give me your seed clusters. There are some. Right. Near blueprint acquired. Ah, inventory full. Really? Our inventory is pretty small, huh? For now. Uh, you know, probably because we picked up all this quartz. Oxygen. All right, well, that'll get us started, and now we know where those are. We can come back and get more. Let's head back and see if we can make ourselves an oxygen tank. And... What else? I don't think there are any flippers in there, but we'll see. I'd like to go back the other way, away from the pod, past the pod where we found that sea glide fragment. Scan that. And let's do some silicone rubber. And maybe some more silicone rubber. And some glass. And let's hold off on the lubricant. Let's make sure that we can do all this other stuff. Oh, we can build fins. Look, fins. Uh, so let's get ourselves a survival knife. Now we're going to have to go out and cut some creep vines. But in the meantime, hmm, I think fins. Let's get some fins going. What else? Lockers, food. All right. So for the for the standard O2 tank, we need fiber mesh and titanium. We're good on that. Uh, if later on we want to build a first aid kit, we just need fiber mesh for that. Flashlight needs a battery and glass. We're going to need some more ribbon plants. I could build an air bladder right now. We're not that. We're not going very deep, so I don't think that's a priority for us right now. Get that bladder fish. We're going to need some more water soon. Copper and titanium. Sun's going down. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Robin, the boss wants a sit rep. I'm cold, I lost all my gear, and I'm no wiser to what's going on. But I'm alive. I can't authorize another drop. Hold on. There's an emergency cache. Hasn't been touched since the scouts landed six months ago. Could be useful. Send me the cords. On your HUD. All right. We've got the coordinates of a cache. That we'll go get in a second. For now, let's get some creep finds. Inventory full. Acquired. Already. Uh, carrying too much stuff. Let's drop some of this stuff and get one more creep vine sample. Oxygen. And then head back up. Alright, let's head back and get ourselves an O2 tank. What do you say? Oop, I'm going the wrong way. Oh. Nice. Going down under the ice flows. It's it, it adds another layer of uncomfortableness to this, knowing that it's not necessarily open water above you. I thought that might have been a, a sea glide fragment, but it wasn't. It was just titanium, or an outcrop anyway. Okay, let's make ourselves some fiber mesh. And an oxygen tank, standard O2 tank. Excellent. Near blueprint acquired. Let's see if we can. Well, we've unlocked the blueprint for the Pathfinder tool. I don't think we're going to need that. Uh, we could need a flashlight. That's going to need another battery. Um, 
but I think we're okay for now. Might not be a terrible idea to have a uh, first aid kit on us, but I think if we keep ourselves fed, that will give us our natural healing stuff. So let's just try to keep our food and water topped off. I didn't try to eat that creep vine sample. Should probably try that, see if it's possible. Alright, full on food, could be full on water. If I cook another bladder fish here. Um, let's cook them both. And I'm not going to cook the eye eye. Pipes. No, we don't want pipes. Repair tool needs crystalline sulfur, silicone rubber. Why don't we turn that other refined seed clusters into silicone rubber and lubricant. We'll also turn some of those back quartz into glass just to clean up our inventory a little bit. And now let's see how our inventory looks. Eh, it's better. It's better. Well, we've got storage here. Might as well take make use of it. Mm-hmm. You go in there. You go in there. You guys can go in there. All right, you go. I'll go in there. Everybody go in there. Alright, we're fine. Back out. Mm, not gonna do... I'm gonna... We're only gonna be doing specific gathering now. Stuff we actually need. But, I guess what we should really be doing is heading for that other beacon, shouldn't we? Alright, let's head for the other beacon. Ooh, lightning. Let's head for the other beacon. Now that we've got some O2. Oh, I made the flippers. Did I... Yeah, I automatically put them on. Okay, I'm wearing them. Now, I do have the music turned on, but we're not really hearing any. Uh, there may not be any in this one uh, until we get... Um, Prunty's. Ben Prunty is doing the music for this one. And yeah, I'm sure he's still working on it. He wasn't hired that long ago. I don't know how quickly you can compose water uh, music for something like this. But is that salt? It is. So there's salt. Keep an eye out for that. And a data box with a high-capacity O2 tank in it. Near blueprint acquired. Can we get up to the surface here? We can. Well, we're going to have to go down in there and check that out, but let's get some oxygen first. Yeah, maybe air, the air bladder wouldn't have been a bad idea. Get us up to the surface a little bit quicker. It makes more sense now that we have an oxygen tank. We can actually go deeper. Ooh. Everything just turned green. What's that? Generic bowl. Indigenous life form. Encyclopedia generic bowl. Blood root. Indigenous life form. Blood root. Um, I don't think I want to keep going that way without more oxygen since we just burned some O2 scanning these things. 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm wishing I had the air bladder right now. Make getting back up to the surface a little bit quicker. Now, I I picked up those symbiote fish, but they didn't actually go in my inventory. So I don't think you can actually use them for anything at this point. There's grav trap. I don't intend to actually use the grav trap, but might as well scan it if it's there. Unless there's some other use for it in this game. I mean, I never used it in the first one. Oh, having this ice overhead makes me so nervous. I got a whole nother layer of uncomfortableness. Oh, 
All right, so what do we need to make the high-capacity air tank? Well, right now is not the time to, to check. There's some more salt. And some more salt over here. I did not see another recipe for water. Oh, look at this. Should we risk it? This is risky. We only got half our oxygen. I, I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. Why don't we go back and try to find a sea glide? Make an air bladder. Well, of course, if we have the sea glide, we don't really need the air bladder. But let's, yeah, let's head back. Oh, this looks cool. Let's head back and see if we can find some sea glide fragments. And maybe a rock puncher. And maybe some more ribbon plants. That was where we got the first ribbon plants down there. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. There were no ribbon plants down there. I want to go hang with the penguins some more. Those guys were awfully cute. Fragment? Grav trap fragment. Some ribbon plants. I feel like this was right around where we saw that sea glide fragment. Oh, Titans! Hello, Titans! Sea glide? No, quartz. Quartz, 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 salt. Quartz, salt, Titans. Hi, Titans. I have some oxygen, thank you. You're so kind. Excuse me, Penguin. Have you seen a sea glide fragment around here? He didn't help me either. Nobody here wants to help me. They all hate me so much. What I did to them. No sea glide. There's one. Bank wings. They're cute. I hear a thermal vent, I think. Another grav trap fragment. Not in the market for grav traps right now, thank you though. Another grav trap fragment. Is that thunder from the skies up above, or is that a thermal vent down here somewhere? I know there are going to be thermal vents in the game, and they're going to play a big part in keeping you warm without getting you so warm that it cooks you. So that's going to be something else that we're going to have to wrestle with. Ribbon plants. Oh my. 
That's shale. Breakable silver outcrop that gave me titanium. Breakable silver outcrop that gave me silver. Oh, this looks really dangerous. Okay, seconds. I want to come back and explore this a little bit more, but not right this second. Let's get some oxygen. We're pretty deep. I should scan one of the babies, the penglings, if I can. Come here, bengling. Oh. Ah. Hey, fellas. Alright, back to work. Twisty bridges. Looking pretty twisty. Passing one hundred. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's an Arctic ray. Thirty seconds. Ha oh, ha, nice. Oh boy. This could be close. Yeah, I'm really wishing I had made that air bladder now. Oxygen. I think there is a rock puncher pretty close to the landing pod. We just have to find him. Is that your Ananite? Whoa! Crash fish! Swim toward it. Swim toward it and past it, and he can't turn around. Derp. It's got crystalline sulfur inside. And that's another sea glide fragment there on the left. I swam right over it. Alright, is this two of two? No, two of three. I need I need more. Thirty seconds. Yeah, I hear ya. And I do really want to. Get that sea glide made. Oh, also, as long as we're here on the surface, let's check our blueprints for what we're going to need for the uh, high capacity O2 tank. Glass, titanium, and silver. We could make it right now. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe we make an air bladder while we're there. Um, emergency supply cache. We already have that. Stuff. Oh, is that another sea glide? Another sea glide fragment, and we're good to go. New blueprint acquired. All right, let's get back up to the surface and see what we're going to need to make that. Make sure we have everything for that. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. That should not be a problem. little more harvesting on the way back. There's another sea glide fragment. Another grav trap fragment. We've got the glass. I think we've got the copper. We're going to need two copper for... There's more ribbon plants. We're going to need two copper for the copper wire and then a copper for the battery. Yes, if you're going to swim right in front of me, I'm going to catch you and eat you. Um, let's see what we get out of these. Titanium. Titanium, okay. Alrighty. What we 
got? We need copper wire. We need a badattery. And now we need glass out of our storage. Glass out of the storage. Maybe a bit of titanium. No, I think we've got enough titanium. Uh, we've, we're going to need the lubricant. I don't think we need the rubber. C a couple of pieces of copper probably might come in handy. Let's see. Oops. And now we need... Oh, I've got all that stuff. Um, oh, we could make a flashlight. We're not going to. We can make the sea glide. Let's do it. All right. All right. Uh, now I needed to... What did I need to do? I need to take my oxygen tank off to upgrade it. Personal equipment. High capacity OT tank. We need two pieces of glass. They've changed the controls a little bit in terms of moving stuff around in storage, which is probably for the best. All right. High cap O2 tank. Sea glide. Scanner, knife, and should I make an air bladder? I don't think we're going to need the air bladder now that we have the thingy, the um, the sea glide. Uh, but how about something more to dr eat and drink? Do I have any more food? Yes. Sustenance, cooked food, cooked aye aye. And eat my aye, aye, drink my water, drink some more water, um, and drink some more water. Okay. All right. You know what, guys? Why don't we call this an episode? As I said, there's only about an hour, two hours worth of full-on story content here. And yes, I am going to be taking it slow and trying to take it all in in order to maximize our time in this initial early access release but for now I think we've made some good progress on day one we've got ourselves a knife we've got ourselves a high capacity air tank we've got ourselves some swim fins we've got ourselves a sea glide and a scanner so with all that in our pocket Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the below zero early access gameplay. And there'll be more coming down the road. Stay warm, survivors.